everybody welcome back and welcome back to Malacca so I'm here again um, you saw the last video you see that lady's come to join me in Malaysia for my last week or so here so she's never been to Malacca I've been before I really liked it last time I was here and last time I was here it was during the week so there was no night market so today is a Friday just went on this thing here as well so the views uh, were amazing of Malacca's you know so you can see all over the Malacca Strait and really fantastic views so yeah today I think I'm just gonna do the things that I didn't get a chance to do while I was here last time last time I tried a chendo but I've heard there's better places to try it so I think we're gonna go for a chendo soon and then tonight we'll go to Jonker Street Market see what we can do say hello Leila welcome to Malacca <laughs> there's chendo Kampong Hulu so I've decided to get this one which I've never seen before it's called a this one the Chatira shaved ice which is nine we get 50. looks interesting because I don't even know what half of these things are lady you got any idea what this is this is ice cream that's the like a strawberry ice strawberry cream strawberry ice cream and then this one this is a uh, the seeds isn't it the seed, Chaya, yeah. Chaya seeds. Uh -huh. and, and then this is the black the black candle the black pudding you know I don't know what the brown one, no idea. And more eight, please come to the counter. More like ice cream. What flavour is it? I've had the flavour before, but I don't know what it is. It's a good, like, nice mix of things. Good basically I said to her I didn't I didn't want um, I didn't want the chendo with the beans in it. And she said she's just trying this one so here we go. Time for it. Yeah strawberries. It is very nice though. So it's more of like a shaved ice. So there's not really any I don't think there's any condensed milk in it. Not really any of the, there's none of the green chendo pieces in it. But still very good. There's also see someone singing out here, so I was very busy. It's a really nice day today, so a lot of people outside enjoying their food. I have to say about Malacca though, it's definitely a nice place to chill and just relax and walk down the river. At the night and night time it gets quite lively as well down the bottom because there's a few bars and everything. Not bad. Not bad. Better than nothing. So I wasn't satisfied with the one I had earlier because it wasn't exactly chendo, but this is my favourite one. Chendo pullot, so we got the Chendo, coconut milk, got shaved ice, and then we got some sticky rice with it as well. Is this the sugar here? Yeah, yeah the coconut palm sugar. Palm sugar. Let's give it a go. need to mix more it's a bit watery to be honest but it's this is more my style this is more I like very good As this one's only four ringgit sunset time now so a lot of the people see the tour buses a lot of the people are leaving now so daytime is very busy here and then I'm sure it's gonna be very busy when the Sun goes down as well for the people for the night market so I think everyone's getting their last selfies in them on the sunlight See the little shrimps in there. Chili shrimp. 
No, this is the baby squid though. Oh yeah, sotong. Ah, uh, sotong. Baby squid. Still spicy sotong. Oh, so that's this pedas is uh, spicy. This one not spicy. Yeah. This is a fish tacos. Mm -hmm. This is like papadum kind of thing. Put in, you cook in oil and it goes bigger. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but you have to better. You have to. Try the under sun first, you know. When you have a lot, lot of sun, it's better. And then, then you try. So this is the little outdoor market, which wasn't here last time I was here. So this is Malacca Uptown. I think it's all clothing down here, isn't it? And perfume. I think it's because also uh, weekend, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday that's why. And tomorrow most of the Malaysian or uh, Saturday day off. Mm. Just saying, it's so much busy here compared to last time I was here. Clothing, 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 clothing and drinks. It's all like dried foods. Oh yeah, sour. Yeah. That's uh, that's the rojak. No, I find the rojak. Oh, there's a lot of street food here. I've seen these kind of places in lots, lots of areas of uh, Malaysia, so it's the camping. It's all noodles, isn't it? Kway Tiao, yeah. Emma. Sushi. Not a fan of the sushi. You're not a fan? Not a fan, not a fan. Saturdays, Palawan walk. It smells good here. I am going So, <laughs> some Western food as well, chicken chop. Actually, I had a chicken chop the other day, it was quite nice. Well, this uptown market is huge because we just turned the corner and there were all these stalls as well. Very big. Most people selling the same kind of thing. I think uptown in other cities is more stuff like this, like uh, pre-owned or pre-loved, whatever you want to call it. Oh, loads and loads and loads of different things. But I think we're going to go check out uh, Jonker Street first. Actually, hold on, what's this? A dim sum. You like sweet dim sum? It's like chocolate. So. I'm not going to do it this time. Normally, on all my videos, when I go to these street food markets, first thing I get is something that's sweet. Some like fried things, fried, fried, fried. Roti Baghdad, yeah. Well, I'm playing down the bar. 
Just a sea of lights, look at all this. All the betcha waiting. So colourful. Ah, so colourful. Compared to last time I was here, it's, it's, it's crazy because there's like nothing here last time I was, I was here at this time. So interested to see what the Jonker Street was like. We had a quick walk down earlier this afternoon. Hey. That was that was a lot busier than last time I was here as well, but we're getting away people's photos here. I mean yeah, crazy busy. Other people going on a river cruise. We were tempted to go on it, how much it was 30 30 ringgit to go on the river cruise early in the day. I don't know whether they put the price by night, but the queues are crazy for it at the moment. Lights, lights, lights. So also, last time I was here, it, it was still the year of the tiger. So there's a tiger in the, in the center of the roundabout here, but now obviously it's changed to a rabbit. This is the year of the rabbit. And yeah, it looks, it looks crazy down here. Oh, I can see coming up. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Let's see if we can find some interesting food. What we got? Mango house. I, was, I saw these in Epo, the rainbow jellies. Didn't try it. It's Putu, different type of Putu. Oh, look. Layla's favorite, the Portuguese Portuguese tarts. We actually tried some earlier. It's really good. A bit different from the ones we have in Europe. Yeah. Maybe they're more of a Chinese egg tart instead of a Portuguese one. Totally. We've got here dragon beard candy. That looks interesting, right? Yeah. Mm. Those hair clips. So hot and humid here now as well. Like I say, last time I was here, this street was empty at night and it stretches now for as far as I can see. So I think Layla's looking at something, so I'll wait for her. And then we'll try and get some food, sample a few items, hopefully some things I've not tried yet in Malaysia, because obviously I've been, I've been in Malaysia nearly two months altogether, so I have sampled a lot of street food now, so let's see what else we can get. Okay, make it into like a little donut.
What's actually made from them? Rice. Uh, no, sugar. It's just sugar? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, oh. So it's like a, like a cotton candy, I guess. Cotton candy. Cotton candy filled with peanuts and sesame. This is like a mochi. Mm -hmm. Like a mochi. Mochi is Japan, but they like a, like a yeah. chewy, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like... It's like a rice. Sorry? Okay, uh, we can eat all. Thank you. Are we fish bowl? Thank you. Thank you. It's actually pretty good. Quite spicy. Quite spicy. Curry no, sauce. Spicy? You not think it's spicy? No, at all. It's choky. Not spicy at all. Mm. Bit of a fish taste, but not too much. I'll take, I'll take. What's that? What's that one? I've tried this. I've tried this before. What's this? Charcoal bun. We should just try one. Hello. Hello. Can I just try one? It's happy. One? Mm-hmm. No. Thank you. So, don't really know what this is. It's about basically a bow bun with attack. So it's like a fish, right? Let's give it a try. See it there. Black charcoal bow. <laughs> Spicy. It's good, it's got good flavour. I like our tack, our tack. Touch of spice, not really. It's got a bit of a. like an aniseedy taste. You like? Yeah. It's not bad, though. Mm -mm. It's quite expensive, though. Five ringgit for one and oh, okay. three for 13. It's okay, not bad. Something different to try. We like the fish balls. Oh my god, I like it. So there's still quite a bit of the market to go. It's a very big market. Sell a bit of everything, really. A few food items, not too many. As my street food markets. Pretty similar kind of thing. I've not seen that one before though, satay corn. It's take a long time putting each sweet corn on the skewer.
Tcom. This is Dim Sum. Mr. Power Tim Sum. Any four for five ringgit? It's a decent price, isn't it? Be rude not to, I think. We have some. Whichever really just get mixed. Is that like wrapped in seaweed or something? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Indonesia. Ya Indonesia. Bye bye. Bye bye. So when I had the poppy here in Ipoh, I preferred the fresh one compared to the fried one, definitely. Here's the poppy here. Actually looks really thick. The one I had was quite, probably about half that size, I think. Can't remember the price we got. Let's give it a go. Check out my chopstick skills again. Should let me get them. Bit of everything in it. Bottoms up. It's good. You can definitely taste the peanuts in it. Here's a bit sweet. Tastes slightly different to the one I had. I think the one I had, same kind of ingredients, but it had like a like a hoisin sauce on it. So it gave it a bit of extra kick. It's very nice though. These other things we got here. Uh, onde onde. Onde onde. Like uh, mochi. In Indonesia, onde onde. But I think so. Japan That's what I asked mochi. him, and he, and he said no. So goes basically the the inside of it, the sugar is like the the Malaccan sugar. Yeah, but he said yeah, what you need to do is don't bite it. Just eat all of it yeah because it's right gonna like a yeah oh i think i have this in um where was it it's like clapon yeah you know, it's clapon. shot everywhere when I... yeah like a green one clapon in indonesia usually yeah i had this uh where was it it went too long ago the difference with this one is compared to the one I had a um, few videos ago. Is that these got different flavours? So I can't exactly remember what flavour was. I think one was pumpkin and one was sweet potato, I'm not sure. I'm interested to try this one though, the, the dragon candy. dragon the beard. Candy. Yeah the pulled candy so it's like the dragon beard candy so it's like pulled sugar basically with sesame. This is the peanut, this is the sesame. Yeah. Try the peanut one first, it's stuck together. That's a uh, Chinese thing, always with a peanut, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's all falling apart. This is like a kind of cotton candy, though, isn't it? Give it a go. Wow. I'm gonna make a mess here. It is a nice taste, but it's like very dry. Very dry, but with the peanuts, it's similar to the mochi I had in KL. Um, the only difference is this is like obviously a lot sweeter and a lot drier because it's icing sugar and not rice. But yeah, it's nice. This one here is the black sesame, so I'll try this one. Definitely prefer the peanut one. That something one's okay as well, but the aftertaste a bit like a kind of burnt taste. It's okay, that's not bad. It's worth a try. What do you think of the pop beer? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little tour of Jonka Street Market. Huge, huge market. Um, like I said, there's quite a few markets today. It's so busy. But because there's so many people, it's so hot down there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Till the next one. Um, next time, I think I'll be in Johor. So make sure you tune in. Till then.
Wonder well, my friends.